<laughs> Bye! Morning, Antifano. Welcome to the vlog. I've managed to... Oh, there's no one around. This is fantastic. I am just walking to my gate, but today I am off to Ken's. So my parents are already over there. They left on Wednesday. Today is Saturday, so I'm just going to meet them there. Last night I messaged mum. I was like, what was the food like on the flight? And she like told me. I was like, oh, that sounds so good. And then I went to check in and realised that I didn't pay. Beijing, in New Zealand. So you must go immediately. Went to go check in and I was so humbled because I did not pay for the meal upgrade. Was, I'm flying in New Zealand, which I don't do very often because it's so expensive, right? And that's one of the things, is when you fly with them, you have to pay extra for your food. And so I was like, nah, I'll just grab something at the airport. And now that I'm at the airport, there's not really much to choose from. I just had got a hash brown from McDonald's and ate that. And then a bag of chips from the relay store. So I've got the chips in my bag for on the flight. But it's like a five hour flight. My carry-on bag is definitely more than seven kilos. I have arrived. Here's, this is this is our little rental car, little Toyota Corolla. We are currently en route to Townsville from Cairns, which is like a four-hour drive. So I am doing a lot of sitting on my butt today. But we are at Mission Beach, which is like an hour and a half out of Cairns. This looks. If you watch Serious Day, I think you'll know what I'm talking about, but I don't think this is the place. I'm pretty sure it was in Port Douglas they did this. But they came down to the beach. Sarah was either pregnant or had just had Malachi. And they were throwing coconuts up at the trees trying to get coconuts off. You'll either know what I'm talking about or you have no idea, but it kind of reminds me of this beach. <laughs> what have you got there, Dad? My magazine. Dad's featured in the Motor Caravan magazine. There we go, all Dad's photos. And they got delivered to home like the day after they left, so I did the honors of bringing it over. I started traveling at 4.30 this morning and we got to the hotel here at like seven o'clock New Zealand time. 14 and a half hour travel day came to an end. We got to the hotel, we're staying at the Mercure in Townsville tonight before we head on to Illy Beach tomorrow. We're gonna go grab some dinner now from the hotel. Good morning. Good morning, how are you going? Good, good morning. Hi. Enjoying the view. Yeah. It is quite bright out here now, eh? This is the view from outside of our room. Last night we arrived, what, just as the sun was setting, so we didn't really get to look around. And so it was like waking up in a whole new place today. I went to bed last night, what, like nine o'clock? And set an alarm for eight, but I woke up at quarter to three Australian time, and I was wired, I was ready to go for the day. And so I got up and the heat pump was like really hot, like hot, it was pumping out hot air. And so I turned that down and I went to the bathroom and then went back to bed. I had my eye mask, so I put my eye mask on and then I eventually fell back to sleep and woke up to, oh no, I didn't even wake up to my alarm, I woke up at 20 past seven. So, had a solid, what's that, 10 and a bit hours sleep. Feeling refreshed, recharged and ready to go for today. What's the plan for today, mum? I'm gonna climb the hill up over there. As in drive up the hill. Oh, you have to walk a little bit. Okay, yeah. Check out the racing track for the V8. Oh, the V8s are coming to town in a couple weeks' time. And then head south. Great. And yesterday when we were on our way, we stopped at this place called, was it Mission Beach? Yep. And Dad got a hot chocolate while he was there and the lady said, oh, where are you off to? We're like, oh, we're going to Townsville. And she's like, oh, don't stay there too long. So I thought this is like the Hamilton. No, this is way nice. This is way nicer than Hamilton. We're gonna go for a stroll around the resort soon and have a look. And then we need to check out at 11, and then we'll be on our way to Illy Beach, which is a three hour drive. Maybe a bit more. Maybe a bit more. Yay. Look at that cliff face up there. That's cool. Well, there's Townsville. 
and we were staying there. On our way up here, you can't see it from here. We're gonna go, there's like, you can go up further, but we stopped and had a look where the Townsville V8s are gonna be. And so you can't drive around the track because it's part street circuit, part permanent circuit. But we could see like where the pits were and where the track went, even though we couldn't go on it. But we could go like on the starting grid and like the main straight is like the main road. So we drove down there. Quite cool to actually see that in person. There it is down there. And the main straight goes down here and they come around here, around and there's like a hairpin down there and then back. But all of this bit in here is all permanent. But then the main road is obviously the main road. I'll give you guys an OOTD as well. Shirt. It's from White Fox, the back of it's really cool. My shorts are bike shorts from Honor Active. Got my Converse is on my feet, and this cap is from Princess Polly a while ago, and these glasses are my prescription ones from Oscar Wiley, although I think my prescription needs updating because I feel like I can't see anything these days. Right, we're up at the highest point. I did a little bit of research on this island. It's called Magnetic Island, and I was like, why? It's because when Captain Cook came to Australia in 1770, he thought that the island was magnetic because it was apparently messing with his compass. But they since did tests and realized there's actually nothing magnetic about it, but it still has the name, so that's fun. at this giant mango in Cromwell. Oh, not in Cromwell, <laughs> in Bowen. Look, feels like it's Cromwell. Oh, it's, I've kind of got my camera awkwardly looped around my hand, but I have some mango sorbet that we just bought, and we've got an hour left of our drive, and then we'll be in Ely Beach. We have arrived at the Wyndham, and I'm gonna film a little, I've uh, just put this, Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna film a little room tour before we get the place messy. So anyway, yeah. I'm gonna go up out here just so you guys get the full the full experience. We are room 812. You come in and this is what you see. All the phones ring out. This is my room, but we're gonna see if they can come and put the beds together because I don't really want to sleep in a single bed. But then I have a bathroom. That's kind of cool. It's got like a walk-in shower, basin, and this Jack and Jill lose situation oh oh you're gonna open the door for me oh i can come right through we have a full kitchen we have a dining table for us and all of our friends couch tv out here this is the view stunning coming back inside and then this is mum and dad's room they get the pretty view and then this massive bathroom what the heck what the heck shower and then their toilet which doesn't have a door which is quite funny so yeah the lovely housekeeping ladies have come and put my bed together so that's fantastic also i don't know if you guys are going to see this yesterday when i was in a kerfuffle realized that i wasn't gonna get food on the plane i went to the relay like convenience store at the airport and i was trying to fluff around and get my phone out of my bag to pay for the chips and at the same time this went flying out of my bag and dropped onto the tiles and the lady in front of me was like, oh, is it okay? I'm like, oh, it's fine. Like, I've dropped it so many times. Like, it'll be fine. And it was fine. But now, I don't know what happened. I don't know if you can see. It's so, it's really not going to show up, is it? On, like, the sides of the screen, it's, like, it's just not looking good. It's, like, green and purple. But, like, it doesn't affect what you guys see. So that's all that matters. I'm going to unpack my suitcase and put it all in the wardrobe and make myself at home. Good morning guys, it is 10 o'clock. Um, I actually woke up at 6.30 this morning and went up to the hotel gym and did a little workout, but <laughs> the humidity in North Queensland is no joke. I don't think I've ever sweated so much before in my life. We've just been chilling out this morning, had some breakfast in the room because we have a full kitchen so we can do a lot of cooking here. But I'm gonna fill up a beach bag because we're gonna go out for the day. We have a rental car today and we have to just drop it back tomorrow and then we have a few days without a car and we pick another car up on Friday. Today we're gonna go down southwards to some port and we're gonna go to this place called, I can't remember what, to some diner for lunch. Then we're gonna go to this waterfall, which I can't remember the name of. After that it'll be like after lunch, and then I don't really know what's happening after that. We have to go to the supermarket though and stock up on groceries while we still have a car, because where the hotel is situated, it's like up a hill. 
it, the hill is very steep like it would 100% be giving Baldwin Street a run for his money but I need to put some togs in this bag and hat and a towel this is my outfit of the day my top is from princess polly it's actually a set it came with like a midi skirt but i've never actually worn the midi skirt but i wear the top quite a lot and then these are the daydreamer pants from cotton on that i got a couple summers ago which they don't make anymore which i'm so sad about because i should have bought them in every single car i need to pack some shorts because i don't know if pants are going to be the go for the whole day and i need to change my camera battery because that just started flashing what have you got dad chocolate milkshake old-fashioned style and where are we we're in george's diner which is where? In Australia. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Just kept driving until right. we said stop. Quarter past six and we have just returned from the supermarket. It's really weird that that means Woolworths and not Countdown. Perks of having a kitchen here is that we can do most of our cooking here and save some money. So that's what we are doing. Tonight we're having like a prawn linguine thing. Because prawns are really cheap over here yeah. compared to New Zealand. And tomatoes are on the loose. Prawn linguine tonight. BLTs tomorrow night. The night after that we're going to have, what did we decide? Thursday night we were going to go out for dinner. And then Friday night we're going to have chicken tikka. And then I go home on Saturday. But I made some purchases at the supermarket today. I had three for 12 on Carewood chocolates. Marvelous Creations Rocky Road flavored. I saw Olivia Mesha raving about that the other day. Marvelous Creations with Pascal lolly. It's like a lolly bag. Crackle, which is dairy milk chocolate with rice crisps and toasted coconut. So it kind of just sounds like the coconut rough. Of course, I had to get another punnet of raspberries. It's my third day here and it's my third punnet of raspberries. And then they had these, I think they were on clearance. I'm pretty sure they were only like $2 each. Kick formerly known as Keep It Cleaner. I don't know if they're discontinuing their food line or what, but uh, a protein choc caramel protein bar and a chocolate fudge collagen protein bar. It kind of feels like, I don't really know what to expect. And then we also got these ice from Vovo biscuits. I don't really know what they are. They look like this. It's my little haul. Mum has put together dinner for us, which looks delicious. We also have some bread. Ooh. Okay. They smell like um, those ice buns. They're weird. Wow, okay. Now much touch it's stale. I think because there's stuff on tops. Yeah, it makes the biscuit soft. Mm -hmm. I was expecting the biscuit to be crunchy. They don't taste bad. They look cute. They do look cute. Finishing off my raspberries too. Then we'll be off to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morena guys. I almost said Morena this morning to a couple of Australian ladies and they would have been so confused. But anyway, it has been the best morning. I got up this morning at quarter past six, did my little quiet time outside on the balcony, watched the sunrise, went to the gym and did some upper body and my arms are so sore and then i came back to the room here at like eight it's really humid here and so i was like i'm just gonna go for a swim why the heck not so i got changed into my swimmers went for a swim it was literally i felt like i was in a movie it was so stunning and then i came back and at eight o'clock mum and dad started a like timeshare presentation via zoom now before i experienced a timeshare presentation the only experience i had of it was that one episode of good luck charlie where charlie and duncan go to that timeshare presentation in hawaii that goes for like eight hours that's not what this is like long story short where we stay we have a timeshare we it just works out like you save so much money from it it's actually ridiculous i don't think I will ever travel not on a timeshare ever again because it just saves so much money. Yeah, they're doing the presentation at the moment where they basically try and upsell you stuff. We never buy anything from them. We buy all our stuff secondhand. Anyway, they bought us free coffees and hot chocolate. So I just sat out on the balcony, had my breakfast, sipped on my hot chocolate, had a shower, washed my hair. I think when mum and dad finished the little presentation on the Zoom, we're going to go down the street and do a bit of shopping. down the street doing some shopping we dropped the rental car back and then just looked at some shops the resort that we're staying at runs a shuttle which goes into town and back at 9 30 1 30 and 4 30 so we caught that back but i went into like five or six shops and tried on so much stuff but i ended up just buying one thing which i didn't try on and it's just this top which is 20 bucks it's like a tank top from city beach i'm gonna go and sit outside and read my book good morning guys we're up at the I crack at dawn this morning. Woke up at 5.30 and it's currently nearly 7 o'clock and we're just walking down to the ferry terminal because we are off to Whitehaven Beach and Hamilton Island today. So we're spending the first couple hours of the day at Whitehaven Beach which 
absolutely stunning clear white sand but I'm not too sure how I feel about it because the warnings also said alligators, snakes and probably spiders. Oh no, jellyfish. Alligators, snakes and jellyfish. I was like, sick. Love that for us. Going to hang out with the snakes, the alligators and the jellyfish this morning. And then... Australian birds actually sound so annoying, eh? It's alright, invasive wildlife. And then we're spending the, like, from lunchtime onwards basically at Hamilton Island, which I'm so excited for. I have a friend who used to work on Hamilton Island. So I feel like I've heard all about it, but I've never been there myself. So it's going to be really cool just to go there in person and see it. The stop of the day, we have to get on this ferry, which leaves at quarter past seven, so around 20 minutes. I've also bought the GoPro and the drone with me today in my school bag. <laughs> this school bag has honestly served me so well. I bought it second hand in year seven, so that's like, two, no, year eight. That's 2014. It's still going so strong. It's just a Jansport bag. Yeah, the Jansport. It is 20 to 10 and you can see that's the boat that we caught. But we've just arrived at the beach, which, what time did we leave this morning? It was like two and a half hours to get here, didn't it? We left the port at Ely Beach, went to this place called Daydream Island, picked up some people there, went to Hamilton Island, picked up more people there, and now we've arrived at Whitehaven Beach, which is where we are for the next couple of hours before we get back on the boat and go to Hamilton Island for lunch and just to hang out there for the afternoon. This is the beach, apparently it's seven kilometers long. So yeah, we've just set up with our towels, my towel blends into the sand, but it's known for its white, white sand. So we're just waiting for the clouds to go away. Hey folks, it is time to board the boat. We're just kind of waiting for the boat to actually come in. It's just kind of like chilling out in the water. Um, I did end up putting my drone up actually. I bought it all the way over here and like the rules for flying drones in Australia is really similar to flying them in New Zealand. But I wasn't so sure about flying it here just because it's like wildlife and stuff. But then someone else put theirs up so I thought, I mean two wrongs don't make a right but maybe in this case they do. But I didn't have it up for long because it's really loud and annoying. Got the footage, now we're going to get on the boat. We're going to sail back to Hamilton Island and have some lunch. quarter to six and we're back at the hotel now I have showered we ended up catching an early boat back the boat we were supposed to catch back left Hamilton Island at 10 past five but we didn't really have anything else to do so we decided to swap our boat to the one that came back before that so we actually got back to Ely Beach at 10 past five we've got a dinner booking in like an hour and a half I'm gonna sit here and uh, drink some water because I did not drink enough water today at all and we were out in the sun all day i feel like my face is like a little bit sunburnt good morning guys mum and i just got back from a walk down there's like a not a, well it kind of is a boardwalk that runs along the shoreline basically the whole shoreline so we walked kind of 30 40 minutes in one direction then turned and came back i have been thinking about my breakfast since the moment i woke up this morning there's these like i don't even what sort of bread is it mum it's like a ciabatta Turkish. Oh, there you go, Turkish bread. So I've just cut it in half and toasted it. And I have, look at this avocado. So I'm gonna put some avocado on it. And we also have some cherry tomatoes. Cut those in half and put that on. The equivalent of tank in Australia is boost juice. You can also get boost juice in New Zealand. And I personally think boost juice is better than tank. But they do them like in a uh, bottle that you can get at the supermarket. So that's what that is. And then I also have some raspberries. And here is a finished product. Good morning folks, it is Friday today and it's my last full day here. This morning, got up, went to the gym, mum and I went for a walk down to like the main beach part again. We didn't go quite as far as yesterday, mm -hmm. but it was still very pretty and very nice to get some sunshine. And now it is nine o'clock and we're heading up for breakfast. We get like a free breakfast while we're here, so that's what we're doing today. And then we're picking up a rental car this afternoon, so let's go, whoa, that's really bright. Let's go have some breakfast. venturing out again. It's 1.30 and we're heading up to reception. We're going to catch the shuttle bus into town. We're picking up our rental car at 3. So we're going to go into town, do a little bit of shopping, see what we can find. 
and then we'll drive the car back once we've got it. But yeah, we've just been chilling out for the past like three and a half hours. Purchases. First shop we went into, we went to Cotton On and I bought this singlet. I know you can get this in New Zealand. And I've kind of had my eye on it for a while, but I was like, oh, I don't really know how I feel about it. It was on sale for $10 and I was like, oh, well, like if I don't know how I feel about it, I can just like take it to the salvos or something. Um, but then I got to the counter and it was only $5, so got that. Then we went to this random little surf beachy kind of store. It smells real weird too. It kind of smells like baby powder. bought this top. It doesn't really show up well on camera, but it's like tiered. And that was 40 bucks. So that's kind of cute. Then we went to Ganda. People used to wear their jumpers all the time at uni. And then when I saw the shop, I was like, oh, I got this. The same as the ones I have at Glassons, except I find the ones at Glassons, the straps are too long, and so they sit too low on my body. But these ones, the straps are a perfect size. So we got that, which was 25 bucks. And then I liked it so much, I also got it in black. So... Now I have it in black and green. So that was my clothing purchases and then we went to the supermarket after we got the rental car. So I got some Twix pods and some Mars pods. Then I got another one of these Marvelous Creations lolly bag. And then these, which are Daryl Lee chocolate, which we don't get in New Zealand for starters. But it's like in collaboration with the cheesecake shop. So there's Black Forest, which is my favorite cake from the cheesecake shop. So I was like, I need to try that. And then caramel cheesecake, which is like my second favorite. <laughs> the cheesecake shop so very excited for that but there's so many different chocolate flavors and i'm really sad i don't live at the flat anymore because i want to sit down and try all these with the girls so maybe i will take them when i see them in a couple weeks time and we can do some tasty soon dinner time and mum has made pizza and we've got some chips out of the oven this is my last night so i'm gonna make the most of being able to sit outside and eat what i'm wearing a new top that I bought today as well. We're gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna have to pack my bag. My flight's at half past two, so I have to leave here at like 12, so I have enough time to get to the airport and check in and stuff. Hey guys. <laughs> it is 8.30 on Sunday night. I don't think I've vlogged anything today. I'm in Sydney in a hotel because I missed my flight. Things were going swimmingly. I had a Jetstar connection from Proserpine, which is like the Ely Beach Airport, to Sydney, and then Sydney to Auckland, and everything was just going so smoothly. We boarded early in Proserpine, it was going so well, and then they had a problem with the plane, so everyone had to get off the plane, and then we got delayed by two hours. I only had a two and a half hour like layover, and so I landed in Sydney just as boarding was starting for my international flight. So I did not make it, and I'm now staying in Sydney tonight. I'm so unbelievably tired right now. I need to order some Uber Eats because I haven't had dinner. Like it's fine, um, but I'm leaving at six o'clock tomorrow morning. I need to be at the airport at like 4 a.m. and there's no shuttle bus running in the morning, so I'm gonna have to get an Uber. Live, love, laugh. Anyway, I need to book, buy some food and yeah, she'll be right. My Uber Eats has arrived and my toilet won't stop running. I just wanna go to bed. I got this chicken salad from Burger Cartel. I have a mean ass headache right now, so I'm hoping that's gonna do the trick. And I got some fries too. Stone cold. And there's no freaking fork. I'm gonna have to eat a garden salad with my hands. That smells like I used to. Am I actually gonna have to use a teaspoon? I'm gonna go to bed now. I was kind of mentally preparing myself for the fact I was gonna go home today, and so my mind was already in like New Zealand body clock. And now that I'm not going to New Zealand, my body's like, what's going on? I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm only gonna get like five and a half hours of sleep. I'm gonna. I've set an alarm for 3:30, 3:35, 3:40, 3:45. 3.50, 3.55 and 4. Normally I'm like a first alarm sort of person, but I tell you right now, I am not missing this flight. Get up at 3.30, Uber at 4, arrive at the airport, like quarter past 4, check in, go through, get on this plane and get home. Let's go home. <laughs>